Hello friends, greetings from Madeira, that's where I am, I'm not in Iceland, but I will be in Iceland very soon uh, this evening. And we have some news, uh, eruption is likely to start any time soon, you can watch the live cams and see if it will happen, but it's very likely to happen because magma run started on the Reykjanes Peninsula some two hours ago and we have a lot of earthquakes along the same place where we had seven eruptions already along the Sunukur Giger uh, Fisio row. Uh, latest news from uh, the morning newspaper say that magma run started on the Reykjanes Peninsula and intense earthquake swarm is ongoing at Sunukur uh, Crater row. GPS measurements and pressure measurements in boreholes at the geothermal power plants next to Blue Moon also show clear changes. Uh, this indicates that the magma flow has begun and a volcanic eruption is likely to begin as a result. The Blue Lagoon uh, had been evacuated uh, due to the magma run that began earlier this morning. This is stated in a statement from the Blue Lagoon. It states that the evacuation went well and that the guests have arrived or are on their way to the hotels and employees have returned home. We would like to thank our guests for understanding, our employees for their professional work and our emergency responders for their good cooperation. Uh, <clears throat> All Blue Lagoon facilities uh, will be closed until further notice. Uh, further information will be provided as the day progresses, the announcement further states. Now let's take a look at the earthquakes. And this is the earthquake map for the last six hours from Vafri.is. You can check it for yourself what is happening there. Most of earthquakes are very small. Those are from the last six hours, as you see. And we scroll down when they started. They will see that this earthquake swarm started at uh, 5603, almost exactly at six o'clock in the morning, Icelandic time. So it's exactly slightly over two hours ago. And so far, nothing is happening, no eruption. Uh, last time the eruption notice was only 40 minutes, but now it's taking longer time. Uh, so uh, we might see only the magma intrusion. It's not guaranteed that we'll see eruption, but very likely, most likely, there will be eruption. So, but just taking longer time, more earthquakes, because probably due to the... Um, a longer accumulation of magma hard to say but you see they are ongoing and uh, there was even one earthquake at Krisovik this is strange and some are at the Reykjanes Peninsula let's uh, zoom on on the map you will see where the earthquakes are taking place you see most of them are north of Grindavik along Sunukur Giger Fischl Euro and there was one earthquake magnitude 3.7 and the northern part of the Fischl where we had uh, in 3.2 where we had uh, the eruptions um, uh, earlier last year see all around the same uh, Fischl line as before Quite a few uh, strong earthquakes, uh, not really in Grindavik. So, no, so we had uh, two earthquakes, magnitude three, uh, right next to Grindavik, uh, north uh, west of Grindavik, and then the smaller, all the small earthquakes are along the Fischl line. One big earthquake. The strongest earthquakes are further to the north. Uh, next to Litla Skokfet mountain, that's where we would we were likely to see 
the eruption most likely most of them are right next to Little Skokfell where we have the crater from September uh, eruption the uh, northernmost crater which was next to Little Skokfell there we had also an earthquake uh, magnitude 3.2 so I would expect eruption next to Little Skokfell in the northernmost part of the fissure and since there is lots of magma the fissure might extend much further to the south uh, now let's take a look on the map of Iceland and see where the most of earthquakes are carrying right now so if you look at Reykjanes Peninsula and here you see the town of Grindavik and the fissure line is uh, east of Blue Lagoon here you see Blue Lagoon so here you see this ancient fissure line called Sunnukur uh, crater of after the crater of Sunnukur which erupted 2000 years ago and most of the earthquakes the epicenter for earth earthquakes is here next to Little Skokfet this is Little Skokfet right here you have the most of earthquakes here my friends that's where we are likely to see the eruption which will be well visible from the airport uh, highway and from Vogar uh, like from this location Vogar uh, around about where we walk into the volcano back in September like uh, when we had the six eruption back in September so uh, which was furthest to the north of all that's very likely to see the eruption also this time those are the latest news from Iceland watch the live games and let's see what happens next